Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Double D, right here on your PC, TV, wherever you're watching on, I don't know, let's go. So, today I have my first day of school. Yay. So, I'm gonna walk you through it and talk about my experience of my new school year, going to my new school. So, with that having said, let's go. The first day of school is always really awkward, you know, for everybody. Just don't make it harder than it is, you know, don't be too scared or whatever just go for it so my day started out like this i wanted to go down and grab my bike because i live on the first floor of this apartment so i wanted to go down grab my bike and just go outside and i saw that the car of the you know the owner of this home was parked right in front of the door so i could barely walk out of it but my bike wasn't able to it was raining so you know perfect day <laughs> You know, the sun is shining right now, so I'm happy, you know, a bit too late, but you know, the Netherlands, deal with it, bitch. I had to walk for like 20 minutes in the full rain. Yeah, so I came at school, five minutes too late. I was like, okay, where the hell do I need to go? Nobody knows the first day where they need to go. So I was like, fuck, oh shit. Fuck. Hey, don't dare to ask anybody else because, you know, you're new. Even though it's my second time of my first year, it still feels a bit uncomfortable. After a week, you know, you will be going like, it's like I've known you for so long. The first day, it's like... <coughs> yeah, I actually arrived and the funny part was there were a lot of people standing in the row to uh, pay for their school stuff. They all have this flyer in their hands and I don't have it, so I will not go inside because I have no proof that I want to pay or some stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I went sitting down on the couch which was next to it and I was like, yeah. And now... F so I looked on my phone in which classroom I actually needed to be because I thought it was that classroom that everybody was standing. But it was not that classroom, it was the classroom right to my right. So yeah. Bruh. I was like sitting almost in front of it for like 20 minutes, 20 full f minutes in front of that classroom, you know, like... Okay, so I came in and it was like I missed nothing. Everybody's sitting like there, like, uh. Oh. So yeah, that was the beginning. So, with that having said, let's go through the different types of people that there are on the first day of school. Ready? Number one, the I would rather be at home than at school kids. How do you spot those people? Well, it's very easy. Just look around and they are always sitting like this, you know, their hands folded between their legs or their legs raised over each other and always looking around, big eyes. The moment they spot you, they go like. <laughs> No, they just don't try to make eye contact. Number two. Two. The second timer. Who are in the first year for the second time. That's including me. What that means is that you do your first year for the second time. Really, nigga? Some, you know, schools allow this and others don't. My problem was that they don't. So the first year I was at a, a different school and I got kicked out because I didn't get all of the points needed to go to the second year. Yay. So I was here for the second time. These kids take it to a whole different level. You know, the ones that try to be tough and immediately show the dominance. They were going like this, sitting in the back of the class. You know, too cool for school. Playing on their phone. Looking out of the window, you know, they're just too cool for school. At least that's how they think. Number three. They got people with friends in the same class. You can easily spot those people because all of the people who are in the same room or in the same class that you are at that point are, you know, silent. You know, the first day of school is just like this. <coughs> So, yeah, but the ones with friends are like this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so fun, yeah. Oh my God, we just got our schedules, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my God, we got math together, yes, oh my God. Oh, we got English class together, oh, oh, oh. We don't have our class together. Oh, look at these tables, they're so beautiful, right? Yeah, oh, but the, the view is so, the view is so fucked up. Those people are fucked up. Because they have friends in the same class, they feel a lot more comfortable at, you know, at school the first day. It's much easier for them to talk and I can understand that because you have friends, you know, you want to talk and share your experience and show to the other guys of the class unconsciously that you're already comfortable at this place and that also shows a certain kind of dominance in my opinion. Number four, the teacher spent. Well, you immediately see those people, right? They can sit in the front of the class and they, you know, just pay attention and sit like this. 
Sir, sir, you know, there's nothing wrong with these people, no? High likely because they are gonna help you out. Why? When you're sitting in the back of the class, don't say that this has never happened to you or anybody you know. You sit in the back of the class or in the middle, wherever you sit, and the teacher says something but you didn't hear it, and that's why you can't understand the rest of what he's telling. And you're like, man, I wanna ask, I want to ask, but I'm, I just, I'm so scared. And then the teacher goes like, are there any questions? And you're like, nope, not from me, not from me. And then this happens. The teacher's pet goes like, um, excuse me, so can you please explain uh, that part, please? So, please, guys, teacher's pet may seem like the suck-ups that they are, but they can also be very, very helpful. Another thing that everybody will relate to the first time they step into their new school, the classes, the classrooms, where the hell they are, right? Even though it's like, yeah, 100 is on the first floors, 200 and so up, but you're never gonna find it the first day, right? So... Yeah, that's actually it. Yeah, cannot say much more about it, so... So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. And uh, share it with your friends. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, peace!